What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Today I have a Albuquerque International Airport update. And this update doesn't feature anything new besides uh, it's a snowed winter themed airport update. I went out and bought some uh, fake flake snow for my airport so you'll be seeing that throughout the month. Um, before I get started I just want to say if you do enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. With all that being said we're going to get right into the news and everything for Albuquerque this month. So uh, previously in November I think I briefly mentioned it but not anything to brag about. I was, Well not anything to brag about but I don't have the model for it yet. Volaris Airlines started service to Albuquerque from Guadalajara. I'm, not, I'm unsure where they parked as of right now. That's why I'm working on uh, getting information on that. And then I'll figure it out wherever they park. And next update, hopefully, you'll be, we'll be seeing Volaris 8 through 20s. Um, and then we also have uh, the San Antonio Southwest Seasonal starting up, I believe, it's December 17th. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So, be on the lookout for that route next month. Um, this is getting recorded before that, of course. So, um, let's see. Anything else I gotta say? Um, thank you guys for all the support once again on trip reports or updates. Man, I love seeing you guys' feedback. One thing that looks like you guys are getting a little bit confused on is. For the guys that watch the trip reports and not the airport updates, they don't know what's going on and how the order works for how I upload those. So, um, what I'll probably end up doing is, um, um, I think I may add like a schedule to my bio or just, yeah, bio area about such and that's what's called on YouTube. So, because that's pretty empty right now, so that's a good place for it. So you guys know exactly what's going on, so you guys can just go straight there. But for you guys that watch both, thank you so much. I know that doing both, not everybody's going to watch both, but I know there is some people who do, and I just want to say thank you if you do. And thank you if you support any of my uh, content. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be trying to go on another trip as soon as possible, and may not be till next summer, but... I at least want to fly this American MD-80 one more time before they get to the desert. Definitely want to spot them more than once, that's for sure. Hopefully winter break. Today's a really good day outside. Let me show you guys. We finally got some cooperation for the weather today. Sunny, and I did in the morning, so really good lighting here for Albuquerque this morning. Uh, if I do seem a little rushed in this update, I am. I got got a couple things I got to get done today. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you once again. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's airport update. Um, please follow me on Instagram at Red River Aviation. Um, we just got the 8,700 followers. So, getting very close to 10,000. I don't think we're going to be able unless we have a big month, I don't think we're going to be able to hit it. My goal for the end of the month is 9,500, which I think is reasonable. And hopefully by mid-January, we're at 10,000 followers. So, thank you guys once again. And I think it's time to get started with the airport update. We're going to start with, uh, I'm going to do runway and then we're going to loop. Or we'll end with um, over here. To, well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I do want to start over here today. So, runway was just clear to snow, so that's why the backlog is fairly big. So, here we have Southwest Airlines, Boeing 737 800. This one's heading up to Houston Hobby after arrival from Las Vegas. Here we have a United Boeing 737 800. This one's currently taxiing out with service to Denver. Uh, late flight. Uh, I was supposed to take off about 6 o'clock in the morning. And it's, I don't know what our time frame for today is. Probably about 7.30 or so. So, yeah. Late departure there. Southwest is barely on time. Here we have a Delta Airlines McDonald Douglas uh, MD-95, also known as the Boeing 717. Currently taxiing out with service to Detroit. Also late flight. 
uh, there by a couple hours. Here we have a UPS Boeing 767-300 uh, freighter. This one's currently just sitting around waiting for the snow to be cleared so you can push back with service to uh, Louisville after arrival from Louisville as well. I haven't changed it up. I think we're just going to do it how I normally do it. So, here we have an American Eagle Ember 175. Sorry. There we go. Uh, waiting to get de-iced and get the snow off. That's for all these, by the way, the majority of them. Um, anyways, he's got serves out to Los Angeles LAX this morning. Late. Here we have a Frontier E320 Neo. This is Wilbert the Whitetail. Currently loading up passengers with service to, um, I almost said, I almost said Allegiant route. Um, anyways, Orlando after arrival from Denver. Late again. There's only a few of these that aren't late, and that includes this Delta Airlines McDonald Doubles MD90. Sorry about that. Was service to Minneapolis, St. Paul this morning. Here we have a Delta Airlines Boeing 7800. This one's um, loading up passengers with service up to Atlanta, subbing in for 900 today. Here we have a Delta Ember 170. This one's currently loading up passengers with service to Los Angeles. Um, actually, this one is on time. Uh, what they do overnight is um, Delta doesn't have four gates, so they do ramp one of them over there by UPS. So he just pulled in and seen it loaded up now. Here we have a JetBlue over C320. This is the Bark Hotel, Velocity Models. He's uh, loading up right now. Um, had the overnight with the weather, and he'll be heading back to New York JFK today. Here we got an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900ER. This is currently loading up passenger service to Seattle to Um This Christmas, I got a lot of things on my list that may or may not happen. I know for sure. There's a couple Pacifics I want, but we'll see what ends up happening. Um, I would like to just get money and see if we can go from there, but I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out as soon as possible. Um, but one of the models that I was wanting was an American, uh, or sorry, Alaska Ember 175. So, yeah. Here we have an American Airlines, or American Eagle, sorry, one Marin CRJ 700 filling in for it, CRJ 900 with service to Phoenix Sky Harbor. Um, here we have a on-time flight of an American Airlines Boeing 737-800. This one's currently loading up passengers with service out to um, Dallas, Fort Worth this morning. Or sorry, Chicago Air. That's way off. My bad. Here we got also a on-time departure for this beautiful American Airlines McDonald Doubles MD83. McDonald Doubles MD83. This one's currently loading up passengers with service out to Dallas, Fort Worth, and will be departing shortly. Here we got a United Airbus A320. Uh, this is also the Velocity models with the black tail. That's we all, I like to joke around with it as just the paint was terrible on it. I mean, there's the comparison right there with the e E170. So, anyways, this one's currently loading up passengers. Service up to Denver. Here we got on time United Ember 170. He's going to be heading out to, or did I say Denver? I'm at Houston. Well, yeah, he. No, we're going to send him to. Okay, take. Because 737 have been operating to Chicago. So take back what I said about that uh, A320. Or 8737 going to Denver. That's going to Chicago. This is going to Denver. And then this Ember 170 is currently loading up with on time departure to. Um, Houston. And then we'll move this box out of the way. Here we have Gate Fell. Here we have a Southwest Airlines 737 700. Colonel up, serves up to La, um, 
Nashville after arrival from Kansas City. Here we have an Allegiant Airbus A320. Um, I should have thrown. They haven't operated MD80s here for months, so that's why it hasn't been thrown in. One of these planes I do want to get those in a A319S, so it fits this airport and Tulsa better. Anyways, he's going to be loading up with service out to um, Austin after arrival from Las Vegas. I don't know why Austin it was a route they chose to compete with Southwest on, but yeah, weird scheduling there for Mr. Allegiant. Here we have a Southwest Airlines 737 MAX 8. He's currently loaded up with the on-time departure to um, uh, I don't think they fly Seattle. I Dallas left field after arrival from uh, Atlanta. Here we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700 who's been holding. That's why he's got snow on him already. He's going to be um, taxiing out with departure to um, Baltimore after arrival in from Phoenix. Here we got a Southwest Airlines 737-700. This one's currently loading up passengers. We'll service out to um, San Diego after arrival from San Francisco. Here we have Southwest Airlines 737-700. In the Canyon Blue, or sorry, not the Canyon Blue, the Heart Livery. He's currently loading up passengers with service to uh, missing routes. I know I'm missing routes. Early morning <laughs> problems. Um, Chicago Midway after arrival in from where you said Las Vegas Denver. Got yeah, snow on my arm. Here we got a really snowed down South Carolina's uh, Boeing 737 Triple Crown One livery. This one's currently low. No passengers service out to Orlando after arrival from. Austin, and then finally, I'll ramble because this came out pretty gosh darn short. We have United Ember 170. Uh, this one's currently loading up with we'll service out to San Francisco today. And that's your snow update for Albuquerque today. Gates got messed up when I flinged my hand. Just fix that. So yeah, um, these will also the snow will also be here for Tulsa and Dallas Fort Worth. Um, I'll go over the schedule for you guys who watch both, and then I'll make a brief note in the next trip report of how the schedule works, even though it's a little late. So I cannot see what I'm doing. Okay, that's a fair view right there. So, my plan right now is to um, give you guys a double upload this week. Uh, this is coming out Saturday. Yesterday, Tulsa came out. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now with that. Um, also, I also have the... Um, and then next week, the next trip port, the final one as of now, will be the American Eyes McDonald Doubles MD83. Get Dallas Fort Worth to Tulsa, and that will be um, uploaded on December 21st. And then that following week, hopefully, there will be a Dallas Fort Worth Christmas special. Models, new models may or may not make an appearance. I'm not sure how I'm doing it this year. However, I do want to say, um, um, I can't believe I've been doing weekly uploads. I missed one week out of the last six months. I feel I feel um, very dedicated to you guys for doing that. I really enjoy this. I really do. Regardless of if my parents really care about it or not, I do, and I'm I have 142 of you guys that do too. Just want to say thank you. It really means a lot. You guys have been doing 
really good stuff. Um, I've been seeing a lot of your guys' airports, and they're really good. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of communities out there that are just terrible. They don't have dedication as this community does, and that's why I picked this one because it's such it's really people are dedicated and they have a mindset of what they want to do whether it's a trip report channel gym that jets or even both just like mine but um yeah we're all on that push to 150 subscribers right now so if you haven't subscribed all of the subscribers matter so please subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a brand new video also, right there, aviation. Um, any questions, you can DM me right there, or you can leave a comment, which I'll respond to. Um, yeah. Besides that, um, been pretty happy with um, the success of my channel. Um, the watch time has gone down, but I know the majority came from that one massive review video, which I do have plans on doing another one of those since um really looks like you guys do enjoy those. Um, I enjoyed made, making it. It was a really good video, I thought. And, man, you guys loved it. Let me just pull it up for you guys. I believe it had, uh, it's nearing 800 views. Just looking at trip report real quick. Oh, sorry. 818 views. Here, let me get a lifetime watch time here so I can show you guys how many minutes you guys have watched this one video. Uh, lifetime. Alright. Nearly 3,000 minutes watched on this one video. I just want to say thank you. That's insane. 3,000 minutes nearly with 800 views. So I just want to say thank you guys for that. And here's some recent videos if you guys were curious. 400, nearing 400, I think this is 398, yeah. And then the one that I just got posted is at 136, so yeah. Lost Albuquerque update did pretty well. I was pretty happy with it. 168 views with um, a little over 250 minutes of watch time. So, one th say thank you guys. It, man, I really, I mean, I'm not saying that making money off this one day would be possible, but I mean, I know there are people that do it. Um, AS Aviation would be if he um, didn't. If YouTube didn't uh, screw him over, Jim Nudges 1975, Jim Nudges 13. Um, there's not many. Uh, there's a, f and for people that um, people do un misunderstand how uh, mid ads work on YouTube, and I know this is off topic for what this video is, but I'll briefly describe. If you do have ads, use them. I mean, use them. You need that. You got to try to get a little bit of money. Um, so for 10 minute video, 2 to 3, 15 minute video, 3 to 4, 20 minute video, probably 4 is enough, and then 20 plus, it's up to you, but I would say for these videos that I do, I'd probably do 1 to start, 5, 10, 15, or probably, now I'd probably do a 5, or a, a Beginning, 7, 14, and a 20. That would be give us 4. Which would be fair. I mean, 5 is a little overkill for a 20-minute video. But if it's a DFW 40-minute airport update, then probably 6 or 7. Because, yeah, when you have ads, you got to use them because you don't make any money. And I don't know exactly how it works. I could be wrong. Maybe the less, the better. If you have better sponsors, I would assume. But for this community, it's freaking root. So... <laughs> That's the one I've seen out of this community. Root and um, Quick Insurance Cell Phone App, something like that. Which, those aren't very good. I mean, when you see the big guys up there that have Apple and, you know, 
all those others that really make a lot of money, you know. Anyways, guys, um, I don't have a whole lot more rambling to do. Hopefully, you guys will be seeing a lot of new models next month. Hopefully, Lasky 175, Legion 819, Volar 320. Who knows? So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys once again enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. That'll do it for me today. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and week. And if you need contact me, comment or Reddit Aviation. Thank you guys so much for watching.